I'm so glad. Well, you know, it's funny because um, when I was done last night, I was like, well, I'm tired, Lord. And hey, good morning, Danny. I was at, at the end of the uh, re of the webinar last night. I was like, okay, I'm tired, Lord. I'm not going. I'm just going to tell him I'm not going to get on this morning. But I remember seeing a, an email or a comment from someone. Um, it might have been... From, from Uganda or Nigeria, somewhere out of the country. And um, hey, good morning, Terrell, Tishana, or Anthony, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but, and, the, and the, the comment was, please don't ever stop these broadcasts. So I'm here this morning. And as soon as I thought of that comment that said, please don't ever stop these broadcasts. The Lord just dropped this first Samuel 16 in my spirit, which I'm not sure if we talked about this before. I know I shared this um, at uh, the sanctuary where I was with uh, Renee Pullum at Hope and Life this past weekend in Georgia. Okay, all of the above Terrell is fine. Okay, good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I, the Lord dropped this in my spirit. Um, to share with you today as worship leaders, what are we? Who are we? Um, and it just, you know, just if we ever have a question about who we are and what we are, the main thing to remember is that we have been anointed, we've been called, and we've been appointed. We are anointed, we have been called, and we are appointed, okay? Um, so First Samuel, we all know this story of David, that when, um, when Samuel came to anoint uh, the next king, he went to Jesse's house and went to find, went to find uh, his sons. And you know, we, we all know the story that David was on the backside of the desert. You know, he was in the mountains taking care of the sheep. And, you know, they went through all of the all of the brothers. But David, you know, was out serving. And while he was serving, he was he he was anointed to do something that he didn't even realize what he was being anointed to do. And, you know, that's how many of us are. You know, we are serving and serving and serving. And in the midst of your serving, God is anointing you. In the midst of you, you know, it may be a struggle. It may be a hard place. But in the midst of you serving, even if it's not a hard thing, but in the midst of you serving, God will anoint you for the next thing that he has for you. Okay. So don't be weary and well-doing. Just continue serving where you are. If you are on this call and you are a part of the praise team or you're in the choir or not even a part of church, but just you are at work and you are, you know, an administrative assistant or you're working at McDonald's or wherever you are, God is anointing you right where you are. Good morning, Monique. So David was serving and he was taking care of the sheep, taking care of, you know, the animals and protecting them and fighting off lions and bears. and But in the midst of that, he was anointed. <clears throat> so, you know, we see at verse 13 that, um, that when they brought him in, it says at verse 13, it says, So David stood there among his brothers. Samuel took the olive oil he had brought and poured it on David's head, and the Spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him from that day on. And then Samuel left and returned. <laughs> Hi, sister. You're fine. You guys, that's my sister. You didn't take anybody's spot. This is cool. <laughs> Hi, good morning, Sister Jay. You are a first timer. So glad you are here. But yeah, so I'm just talking about in First Samuel, <clears throat> verse six, chapter 16, just who we are as worship leaders. And it doesn't matter if you're a song leader or a musician, a sound engineer, uh, uh, interpreter for the deaf, like my sister, wherever you are, God is, he is anointing you while you are serving. So David was serving and then, and then he, the anointing, the, 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 uh, the anointing of the Lord came upon him. So after, you know, I said, we are anointed, we are called and we are appointed. 
So the next part of chapter 16, we see where the, the, the spirit of the Lord had left Saul. It left Saul, right? So Saul's servants said to him, we know someone um, who is a great musician. Not, he's very talented. Not only that, he's brave, he's strong, and has good judgment. He's mm -hmm. also a good-looking young man, and the Lord is with him. They knew that he was anointed. They knew that the presence and the power of God was with him. So they were able to tell Saul, we know someone who has the power of God, the presence of God with him. And so <clears throat> with that, Saul says in verse 19, um, Send, says, sends messengers to David, send me your son, David. He called for David. We are anointed and we are called. There are people that are waiting for you, that are calling for you to get in your position, to take up your space that God has for you. You know, and even like, you know, I talk about so many times how this, just this doing these, um, live broadcast for me, you know, it's a, it's a stretch of faith. It's a stretch, man. It's getting me so far out of my comfort zone, but I'm being called. There is a call that has been put out for me. There is a, there is a call that has been put out for you. Someone is waiting for you. They are calling for you. Just like Saul sent the messengers to call for David because there was something on David's life, the anointing that was on David's life that he needed. So we are anointed. We have the presence of God that is on our lives. We are called. There are people that are waiting for you. They are needing you. They are needing what God has put on the inside of you. They are waiting. They're calling for you. And then in verse 21, it says, So David went to Saul and served him. Verse 21, David went to Saul and served him. Saul liked David very much, and David became one of Saul's armor bearers. Uh, and then in the next verse, verse 22, it says, Then Saul sent word to Jesse asking, Please let David join my staff, for I am very pleased with him. And whenever the tormenting spirit from God troubled Saul, David would play the harp. Then Saul would feel better and the tormenting spirit would go. David was then appointed as a part of Saul's staff. Wherever God has you in this season, he has appointed you there. There is an anointing on your life. You've been called. And now you have been appointed in that place. And where, let me just encourage you in this, that wherever you have been appointed, that's the place that you are going to grow. You're going to flourish. That's the word that I kept hearing, that wherever you have been appointed, that's, the, that's, that's your set place for this season. That's your set place for this time in your, in your life. This is your set place. This is where you have been appointed that this is the place where you will flourish. You will take up roots and you will grow. Now, a part of that growing and a part of that flourishing will also come some pruning, some cutting away. But at any, at any rate, you're going to flourish in this place. So not only going to be on here really, really long. I just wanted to um, give you that little word of encouragement. I just wanted to give you that little word of encouragement that as worship leaders, we have been anointed in the middle of our serving, we have been anointed for the next thing that's coming. We have been called. You've been called to where you are or you're going to be called to where you're going next. And then you have been appointed. The place where you are now is where you are going to flourish. Okay. And then the place where then when you move to the next season, the next phase, it's going to be a place where you have been already anointed. You've been called to that place and you're going to be appointed to that place. Okay. So anyway, I just wanted to encourage you and uh, give you that little nugget there. Thank you so much. Hey, Michael Peters, man. Michael is uh, checking us from, is with, from Ghana. And you said it was 2 a.m. I saw your email back or your comment back when, when we were done. It was 2 a.m. your time. Thanks for joining us. Um, mm -hmm. Yay, Chef. Thanks. So listen, you guys, I uh, that's all I have for you today. So I hope that you all have enjoyed that little nugget and that it is a blessing for you. And um, yeah, that's all. So have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for viewing and thanks for joining me this morning. And I will see you guys next Tuesday morning, same time, 
same channel. <laughs> Have a fantastic day. Love you much. Bye.